Hi there, Aquarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius for the week of October 24th. This one doesn't resonate so much, Aquarius. Go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe while I have you here and I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, hang tight. I won't be doing those for the next couple weeks. If you'd like the extended, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. Okay, Aquarius. So we have the three of wands here. This is being very patient. It's waiting for your ships to come in. I think you're waiting to have a talk with someone. You're waiting for someone to approach you here. Four of Swords is taking a break from somebody. It's taking a little bit of a rest. Um, gathering up your thoughts. Swords can be about communication as well. It's information, education, communication, thinking. You can see like she has this little heart next to her. She's healing. She's in the fetal position in a nest. Seven of Cups is confusion. It's maybe trying to make a decision. Um, illusions, delusions. I think you're not really sure which direction to go in or which decision that you want to make here, which outcome you want. Your person could be feeling that way too. We have the four of pentacles here. It's somebody holding back with you, not giving time, energy, effort. Maybe you're guarded. You're holding back with this person as well. Uh, it's a fear of being vulnerable. So let's take a look at your person here and we'll see what comes up. Okay, so this is someone who is kind of up in their head here. Five of Swords. Uh, this is the Light Seer's Tarot. I'm going to be using the Radiant Wise Tarot to clarify. And stay tuned to the end. I'm going to pull a card for what your person is thinking or something that they need to say as well as what their feelings are. So this Five of Swords is being up in your head. I have some inner conflict. I don't know what to do here. Maybe thinking about a past fight with you. Okay. And we've got the Two of Wands. This is also a decision-making card. I think this person is trying to decide where this relationship is going or where they want to go here. Additionally, with this Two of Wands, you can see the little hippie van. You can see the world. Um, there could be a long distance connection here. So maybe like this is about logistics, like can this relationship work long distance or one of you is moving here. Um, this could be a talk about your future or the path ahead. Sometimes the two of wands is choosing one path over another. And I'm not sure if you are talking to this person and you're just not saying what needs to be said or you're just in like silence from this person. Okay, so this is clearly about the future with the Ten of Pentacles. So keep in mind that this is a, a reading here, like it's a collective reading. So with this Ten of Pentacles, this is about maybe the stability in this connection is this going anywhere, like i.e., quote-unquote, the talk with somebody? Um, this could be about marriage or having children or moving in together or sharing, like, your finances with somebody. One or both of you could be married to somebody else. I just feel like there's a conversation that one or both of you have been avoiding. Yeah. Ten of Swords. I'm doing a lot of thinking. So that can be a card about like being stabbed in the back or having a painful ending. For this particular deck, it doesn't really have that connotation for me. It's more like, you know, is this connection ending? Is it going anywhere? I'm kind of lost in thought. I'm not really sure where our next cycle is going or where this, this relationship is going. I think there's a lot of confusion here. All right, so what? Huh. Ace of Swords. 
that's a revelation. That's information. It's someone talking to you. They're getting ready to have the talk with you. I think you're finally ready for it, probably more than ready. You need to talk about the future here. With this ten of, of pentacles here, I can see they're thinking about the long-term future. They think there's a possibility of a long-term future with you. All right. Okay, let's arrange this so you can see everything. What's going on with this person? All right, we've got the 10 of wands. So this could be a very long-term relationship here. Um, you have a lot of 10s, so there is a cycle ending, aces start cycles, 10s end cycles. It, there's a possibility of a move here, like moving in together, or if it's a long distance, one of you moving closer to the other one. There's movement in this connection. This is a very serious talk you're having with the person. Mm. Four of Swords. Taking a little bit of a break here. And then we've got that Five of Swords showing up in reverse. So you're ending the conflict. Swords are, again, that communication information. They're getting ready to talk to you very seriously. We've got the two of swords in reverse here and we have the magician two of swords is another decision making card just like that two of wands here so there's decisions to be made in this connection there's the future to talk about um, maybe some logistics about like moving in with somebody or moving across the country or moving this relationship along that two of swords in reverse can mean feeling a little bit overwhelmed Maybe they don't have all the information or they don't really see the entire situation. You can notice that that figure is blindfolded. Um, there's a lack of perception with the Seven of Cups card as well that showed up in the overall energy. And we've got the Magician here. This is major for um, Aquarius and Gemini for me, so it's one of your cards. It's also about communication here. So this is all about communication. There's a lot that needs to be said here in this connection. Let's do something that they need to say or something that they're thinking as well as a feeling card. All right, what is something that they're feeling right now for you? What are their current feelings for you? We've got the King of Swords here. That is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. This is very specifically one of your court cards. King of Swords is usually seen as being Aquarius. They may be seeing you as like the super logical person, kind of being a little bit head over heart, a little bit withdrawn, um, you know, kind of standoffish, or maybe like just being super practical about the situation. They may be kind of hesitant here, not knowing where you're standing or what you're feeling about them. And let's do something that they need to say here or something that they're thinking. Ugh. Okay. We have, I can't stop thinking about you. And again, I do think they're kind of up in their head here. We had the Five of Swords pop out a couple times. <laughs> There's that Four of Pentacles that showed up here. Um, earlier, my cat B dumped all of these in the floor during the Scorpio reading. So I do think that they've been holding back with you. They haven't been completely honest here. We have I love myself enough to walk away. Um... I'm not sure like if they walked away from you or you walked away from them or you're thinking like if I don't get what I'm wanting here in this connection or, you know, I'm willing to walk, maybe they're willing to walk if they're not getting what they're looking for. 
can't come where I am going. Some of you, this person like really pulled away. I'm afraid to contact you. They may be very distant from you. They may have even blocked you. You've blocked them. There may have been some real bad communication here. Sometimes that five of swords can be really kind of negative conflict. Like you say the, the you say hurtful things. Um, you deliberately try to hurt the person or you win at all costs whenever you fight with them. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I won't be taking private readings right now, but if you would like the extended, click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown. It's $10 for the month. Um, please like and subscribe and take good care of yourself and blessed be.